Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Zoe and I'm a big lover of makeup and because I love makeup so much, I have a lot of it. So this is going to be part two of my palette clutter. If you haven't seen part one, I recommend watching part one first. It will be in the description box down below. Um, I cut this declutter in three parts. So today we're going to do my neutrals with pops of color and half neutrals, half colorful shades. I have my tea here because I still have a lot of allergies going on. So that's why my, my voice sounds a little bit weird and stuff. Um, but let's just start a little quick update on what I did last time. Again, I like my palettes to have mattes and shimmers in them. And um, I don't really like to open unopened palettes at this point unless I have like really strong feelings about it. Let's start with the first pile of neutrals with pops of color. This is a little quad by New York Color. I don't think they're in like business anymore and this had its best time with me so it's gonna be decluttered. This is a Catrice Addicted to Berries. Of all of the Addicted to lines, I don't like this one. It's not bad. It, I do feel the quality in the other ones is a little better. But also, this is just not my type of color scheme. So I think uh, this is definitely one that I could easily declutter. So that's gonna go. And then I have these two. These are the must-have, my must-have palettes by Essence and two random shades. I don't know why they're in there. And then I have two of them. These are good, kind of, but not good enough to keep in my collection. And then we have this one, the Lottie London one. And it's kind of the same story as in my previous video with this one. I like it. The quality is, like, superb for, like what you pay for it it's just beautiful it's really like also comparable to a lot of my high-end stuff I don't even know if I showed you the swatches but um so hard okay wait let's take two out that kind of have similar color schemes by the way I put all the sleeves of these palettes like here so that we'd be quicker in this video so that's what you are seeing right here um okay these two are slightly similar a lot of the shapes are in here i don't know i think i'm gonna put this in a maybe this i'm gonna keep this is this is the odin's eye elves palette i really like odin's eyes formula I really like their aesthetic, I like their theme, and wait, let's swatch, let's swatch a few of these. Oh my god, the sun is leaving us again. Um, look at those shades, how pretty is that? It's just like next level, I just really think the Odin's Eye formula is slept on. Even though they're getting a little bit more recognition at this moment, I hope a lot more people try their formula. So this is going to be a keep. The first one of this video actually this one is brand new and as you can see i have shades a lot like this uh, the only shade that might be special is this one which is called what is it called diva this is the catrice daisy dark palette and i think someone else could love 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 this and that person is not going to be me so that's going to be decluttered what i am not going to declutter is the grandeur palette I actually wanted the Baroque palette, but now that I have this, I'm very happy that this is the one that I have because it's a lot more special than what it seems to be in like pictures and stuff. These shades are just stunning. This has a blue reflect. This is like a bronze with like a blue shimmer. And then this is like a sequin done sequin. You know, most sequins are so like light that you don't have glitter in them when you blend them. So I use them as mattes, but this actually has so much glitter in them, in there, that it's actually a sheikman shade, which I think is kind of fun, you know, to have a shade that's actually sequiny. So this is definitely going to be kept. It's like one of my special palettes, like, I don't know, might not be one of my favorites, but it's high up in there. 
Okay, then we have this. This is the Essence, what is it? Into the Snow Glow. And uh, this is brand new. It's a blush, highlighter, and eyeshadow palette. And there are only like two or three shades in there that are really interesting to me. So because of that, I'm just going to color the whole thing and get someone else to love it. Second pile, I have the Bambi Thumper palette, which is very cute. I thought it'd be very travel friendly, uh, but this shade does keep breaking on me. This whole palette is beautiful, but there's one little thing that you need to know. It does fade. It fades in the most beautiful, gracious way, for sure, but it does fade. So please keep that in mind when using this palette. Um... Yeah, please keep that in mind. I am going to keep it for now, though. What I'm not going to keep is this Max. Ow! Oh, my God. My skin got caught, like, in the back of this, like, mechanism. Uh, I'm not going to keep this because one matte, a lot of shimmers can't work with that. For the same reason, I'm going to get rid of this. This is actually really good. This is more like of an inner corner highlight palette. And for that, it would be great, but... I am a one and done palette girl. I, I use one palette for a look. I'm never going to reach for this just to do inner corner highlights. What I'm definitely going to keep though is this. Like, okay, how fun is this packaging? Oh my god. Um, this is the Little Rock Desert, no, Desert Sunset palette. And the quality on this is just really great. When I first got this, I actually used it a couple times in a row, which isn't my, you know, what I do with palettes normally. I use them once and then store them and use them later, but not like so many times in a row, which I did do with this palette. So that's a good sign. Really love the quality and I really would love to try more from Little Rock to see their quality. Other palettes. Okay, I have three, four Revolution palettes. These are all kind of old. This is an only matte palette, and you know what I think about only matte palettes. This is an all shimmer palette, except for this shade. You know what I think about that. This, to me, is just a very uninspiring color scheme. So that can go next to the fact that it's kind of old and broken. So this might, might, might be one that I'm actually going to, you know, throw in the trash because this is just... Look at this. The packaging, I can't even... Oh my god can't even you know get this packaging to close anymore oh my gosh what is this okay yeah it's close sort of no it's not okay i'm gonna put this aside and close it like after i finish this video this is the revolution reloaded iconic vitality i used to have the wet and wild dupe of the modern renaissance this is a dupe of the modern renaissance like color wise um and I declutter that because I didn't use it. So why open this? I'm probably not going to use it. And then we have these two. This is the Iron Revolution Violet palette. And apparently I forgot to take the sleeve off of this. This is what it looks like. It's very stunning. However, I'm allergic to fragrance. And this has fragrance in there. And I am, you know, I feel like I'm not allergic to every, like, little bit of fragrance nowadays but sometimes i am it's a weird story however i'm not going to try a palette that i think has a cute color scheme but not something i would wear every day and then find out i have an allergic reaction to it i'd rather pass it to someone who knows they'll love the color scheme and also be able to use the whole you know uh, palette and does don't have like an allergic reaction to it this is the revolution pizza palette um, you saw the chili palette in my previous video. Again, sucker for makeup, baggage like food. And I really think this is just such a cute color scheme. When I see this, I'm like, yeah, that's what I want to use. I really want to use this palette. So, uh, this is going to be kept. I need to hurry up because this video is going to be three hours long if I don't. Oh my god, I could, well, whatever. Um, next pile. This is brand new. Boring as hell to me. Well, not as hell, but quite boring to me. The clutter. This is exactly the same color scheme. This is by Boulevard. This, by the way, is the Essence Make 
make your own magic. It's really cute, but it's just not my type of color scheme. Same with this, and that is Tony Shimmer, by the way, the Boulevard one. This I have two of. Don't ask me why. Um, but the only shade that really excites me in this palette is, is blue, and it's kind of moat. And the other shades are great, but I'm never going to use it for the other shades. The Soph Revolution. I really like the color scheme. I think the, the, the quality of this palette is really great, but I never, ever, ever reach for this. And I think it's a very good palette for someone else because it has literally everything in there. Then we have this. Oh, oh my gosh. This might be my first maybe in this video because of the sole reason that the mattes are actually quite good and the normal shimmers are good but then you have a lot of topper shades that you really need to like work hard to actually get them to show up beautifully and I'm I'm at a point in my life where I'm not really interested in working super hard for neutral tone looks However, this color scheme just screams my name, so I am going to put it in a baby pop. Then we have the Disney designer Princess... The sun left me again. Hope comes back very soon. This is the Disney designer color pop. Um, a princess, it's a princess thing palette. And the thing with this palette is I love the shimmers. I love the mattes. The quality in this palette is just really great. The only thing I have to say, and I never heard anyone else say this, so I don't know if I'm, maybe I'm just in the wrong here, it could be, but um, Tiana and Pocahontas are in the front of this palette, and I'm like the palest person I know. This shade is the, like the darkest matte shade in the palette, because these two are sequin shades. And so I'm kind of like, this palette to me isn't diverse enough looking at, you know, who are on the front. Um, but maybe that's just me. I haven't heard anyone else say that. And I know Colourpop has a lot of palettes, so maybe it's okay for them to be not ex exclusive in every palette for some people. But for me, I think especially when you put darker women on the cover, it should also be able to be used by darker women. So, um, but maybe I'm wrong. Please let me know what you think. Then we have the Domin Dominique Latte palette, uh, which is pretty new to me, and I really just want to get more use out of it and try it more, so I'm going to keep it. And then we have the Pat McGrath Labs palette. This is just, like, so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, these are kind of, like, duochrome shades with, like, different, like, textures to them. And I really want to use it more. I am thinking about actually putting this on my like makeup vanity so that I see it every day because it's a mostly only shimmer palette. It wouldn't be something that I reach for as I already talked about other shimmer palettes, but I kind of want to make an effort to actually use this properly with other palettes and looks because it's just really, really pretty. Next pile. We're now getting into the colorful, like half colorful, half neutral, like world. Let's start with this melt stack. This is the blueprint stack, which looks a little like, oh my gosh, which looks like this. That's the one that's filled over this carpet right here. Um, I really like this specific melt formula. I have another melt palette in the next video, which I don't really like, but even though my hand is wet, it just blends beautifully. And these matte shades will actually um, function as like multiple matte shades because if you like blend them out, you'll create layers as you can see. I hope you're able to see what I'm talking about. Um, so, you know, you only have two mattes, but you have a matte in the blue shade and a matte in the brown shade. And actually in this specific palette, that seems to be enough to, you know, cater my my preferences so this is gonna stay and i kind of like the whole stack idea i know a lot of people don't but i do this is gonna go this is the revolution no the essence jesus essence being original and the only problem with this i love the quality of these shades however these pans are so narrow that i can't get my brush or finger in just one shade at a time which obviously is very annoying 
and then we have uh, this which is the Alva's 2 Sky palette by Unzai. I hope I'm pronouncing that right but probably not these shades are just pretty I so I really didn't want the sky I wanted every other palette as the sky but I got the sky and actually I'm really happy with it because every time I used it so far I was like oh, wow I'm sparkling that's kind of how I feel when I wear this palette so I'm gonna keep it for sure one that I think I can get rid of even though I think the quality in this is just super stunning especially for the price point I mean look at this shade and look at this shade and even the mattes are actually quite you know good however the only problem I have with this palette is that I never ever reach for it so I think I can part way with this one then we're gonna go into a palette that you know really I have problems with because every time I make a look with this palette this is the Sigma Enchanted palette I never like how it turns out however this is quite an expensive palette and everybody's raving about it so I kind of feel like I might be doing something wrong so what I want to do is I want to give it some more chance I think but for now I'm gonna put it in a maybe pile because I'm just not I'm not excited about this palette in any kind of way then a palette that I am excited about in many ways is a Too Faced Chocolate Gold um, it has four mattes that are like your basic mattes that you can make every single look you need and then you have a lot of gorgeous gorgeous shimmers they feel a little bit more dry but I don't feel they look dry on the eyes when you apply them and um, I just think the shades are just super stunning super beautiful and um, the story wow really need to think hard about it the story behind this palette is also kind of cute because when I had just split up with my ex, I moved back in with my parents, but I didn't have any like products there. And this girl, um, like a random girl that I didn't know, was give was wanting to give someone that kind of needed it um, makeup. And I was like explaining my story. She was like, oh, I'm just going to send you things. Do you have brushes? I'll send her some brushes as well. And she gave this palette to me basically for free, which... I mean, it's a very expensive palette, and that was such a selfless good deed to me that I want to keep that. Next to the fact that I love it. Then we have the Urban Decay Born to Run, which I want to take as traveling ones. Just saying. Even though I explained in my last video I don't really travel much, um, I just really want to. I love this palette. It's a really nice quality. I love Wonderlust and Sky. Big Sky. Is it the best palette ever? No, in no way is it. The best palette ever but I do like it the only thing that I wish they changed is some little bit more cooler tones mattes so you could actually work with these shades better than just with you know warm toned mattes but I am going to keep it though and how beautiful is this packaging all those travel pictures it's I just um I like it a lot the whole aesthetic Getting into the last two, well, these are exactly the same, you might think, and that's true. This is the Masquerade Mini, never opened that. I actually bought it to, you know, gift or sell, so that's going to go into the clutter pile. But I actually think this one is going to join it because this doesn't have any, like, I don't always like having neutral mattes with colorful shimmers. So if there had been one green or blue matte in this palette, and they would have like removed one of the blues. I would be would have been totally fine. But now every time I look at this palette, I'm like, oh, 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 I don't know, I don't know. I'm not inspired. So that's actually gonna go. I'm quite proud of that. So, um, oh, I thought we were done, but we have another pile. Last pile for this video. We have the Tarte Brain First of the Sea High Tide Good Vibes palette. This is just so cute of packaging and you have your neutrals here your glitters and your more colorful shades I actually like the glitters in this palette quite a bit and uh i want to keep this for no apparent specific reason other than that i want to those are colors desi and katie frankation palette um makeup i miss though which is a channel i follow if you don't watch her videos please like um do because i think she's a really great makeup artist she's not a makeup artist but she's like 
I, I love her looks. Um, she talked about this palette so many times being a super good palette and but it was sold out by the time I even got the hang of it. And now I got this off of someone else who didn't want it anymore and I'm very happy to own it so um, I'm gonna keep it. What I'm not gonna keep is the Sleek Eye Divine palette. I was watching this the other day and it's just not it's not up to quality with other palettes anymore. I mean, this is not as reflective or dimensional as any other, you know, dark blue that I have. So I think, no, no, I don't think. I know I'm going to declutter this. Um, it's good, but not good enough. And then we have the Zodiac. And this is the... Um, Colourpop Catwoman Light Zodiac Palette. And I'm very much doubting what I should do with this because I used to love it, but now I never use it. So, same goes for this. It's a really good palette, really good quality mask, but I never reach for it. So, someone else could maybe even use this every day because they love it so much, but I'm just not going to be that person. And then we have the Nabla Secret Palette. I haven't gotten so many looks out of this that I loved it. However, I really love the packaging and the color scheme, so I definitely want to use it more, try it more, see what looks I can create with it, and, um, you know, keep on, keep on, keep on with this palette. So this is going to be staying. And then the last palette in this video, yeah, the last palette, it's going to be this one, the Violet Voss Like a Boss palette. I'm going to put this over the mirror. I really enjoy the color scheme in this one. It's just really gorgeous. I love uh, these two rows. And these two rows are nice to have. And, you know, looking at this, I'm actually pretty happy that I decluttered the Nubian Mini in the other video because I have this. Okay, so let's do a little counting. We have two... Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen pals we're keeping in total. We have three in a maybe pile, and we have let's count two, four, six. Wait, what did I say? 20 pals I'm keeping? Oh my god, I forgot. Wait, 4, 6, 10, 10, 12, 16. 16 pals I'm keeping. I'm going to write that down because I'm going to forget in two freaking seconds. And I'm going to... I have three palettes I'm... Um, that are in a maybe pile. And then the last rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. So I declutter 24 and I'm keeping 16. So I'm actually quite happy with that. And uh, because I decluttered more than I'm keeping. And this was it for this video. Please give this a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you.